Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be going over how to write SQL joins. This is something that was very frustrating to me, but once I learned a template and did a lot of practice, it's actually very simple. Now I'm currently taking D42.7 at WGU, so no matter if you're taking an SQL course or just want to learn how to write joins, then this is the video for you. I'm going to start off with covering a few types of joins, and then we'll work our way into some problem exercises. An inner join is going to be the return of a data set of any matching values from both tables. So when you hear inner join, just think matching values of the left and the right table. A left join is going to be all records from the left table and then the matching records from the right table. A right join is going to be that just flipped. So it's going to be all records from a right table and the matching records of the left table. Lastly, a full join is going to be all records from both the left and the right table, regardless if they're matching. In regards to D42.7 in the exam, just focus on the inner join and then writing out left or right joins. I have yet to see a full join asked in the exam. Now that we know a little bit about the types of joins, you may be asking, how do I spot what join they're asking for in the question? So if you see keywords such as if available, regardless of, or even if there are nulls, then they're going to be asking for a left or a right join. If you don't see these keywords, and maybe they're just asking to find the matching values, then it may be an inner join. Use caution though, read the question slowly, because they may be asking for the matching values, but then they have an if available. And you'll think, oh, this is an inner join statement, when in reality they're asking, say, for a right join. Let's look at my notes in the template to dive further into this. Select from join on. Write this down and really remember this in regards to the test. This is going to help you out a ton. Select from join on. And I wrote this down to break it down further. You'll notice I have left and right specified as well again here on the on part. And this will make more sense when we're doing the practice problems. So let's take a look at a practice problem. 8.16 is a practice lab that we'll be going over. Here are two tables, and then let's read the question. Write an SQL query to display both the title and the total gross, if available, for all movies. Ensure the result set returns the columns and the order indicated. So looking at our notes, let's use this as a reference. So we'll start off with select. And then we're going to want to put the table name, dot column name, and then the table name, dot column name. And in regards to figuring out what table do we put first, know that the left table is always the first table asked or brought up in the question. And then the right table is always going to be the second table mentioned in the question. So again, they bring up title. Title is going to be a column name. If we look for that here, we'll see it's right here. So title deals with the movie table. And then total gross, this is going to deal with the year stats table. So we're going to write movie, and then we're going to put dot title, again, first table name, and then the column name and the question. We're going to put a comma, and then we're going to put the second table name, the right table, which is going to be year stats. dot total gross. All right, now we'll write the next part out from. Now we'll look at this. And as you can see, so I put left, and this is meaning tables. So you want to put the left table in the front part. Well, we learned that the left table is always the first table brought up in the question. So this would be the movie table. So from movie. Now the next part I would say is the most important part of writing this out and this is going to be what type of join they're asking for. Again if we read the question display title and total gross if available. So, so reading that if available that tells me hey we're either writing a left or a right join. 
and total gross if available. So this also lets me know total gross is going to have any matching values if there are any. And title, it's going to be all the values. So again, title is relating to the left table. Total gross is relating to the right table. So it's asking for all the values of the left table. This is going to be a left joint. So I will write out left joint. And then going back to our question here, I have join and then right table name. So you want to put the right table that's in the question. Again, going back to the question, taking our time and breaking it down, the right table is your stats. So this is going to be left join year stats. And again, just referencing my notes and taking it section by section. Now, let's go on to the last part of writing a join on. So let's write on. And this is going to be left table name dot column name equals right table name dot column name. Now, for this last section, I do want to let you know that in regards to the column name, you want to find one that's matching and exactly the same for both tables. So again, on left table name, that's going to be movie. And then column name, column name. So let's look at a column name that looks like it relates together. So in the movie table, if we go through each column, you'll see a year column. And if we go through year stats, you'll see there's also a year column at the very top here. So now we know going through both tables that year is going to be the column name that we want to specify. So movie.year, don't forget that equals. And then now we're going to put the right table name, which again is going to be year stats dot, and then we want to put year. So after we put that, don't forget to end our statement. And let's go ahead and run this and see if we got this correct. All right, and then if I expand the screen here, you'll see we got a full score, so we got this question right. So again, really looking at these notes, don't worry too, I'll have them in the description down below. Just break it down, select from, join on, and really just think left table, right table, left table, right table, and then again, left table, column name, equals right table dot column name. It's really simple if you break it down, just think left, right, really throughout this whole equation. Now let's do some practice exercises from a really good website called W3Schools. This is a great website if you want to learn Python, SQL, really a lot of different coding languages. So in this question, it wants you to put the last section of a join statement. So it already has the select, the from, the join. Now, again, looking at our notes, we just need to put the on section. So we would write on. Again, we want to find the left table. So looking at the left table in this question, right, the first table I see here are orders. So we'll put orders. And then if we go to the second part and just skip a little bit here, you'll see the second table specified as customers. So we'll want to put customers. Now, again, with this on section, we always want to put dot and then the matching column name for both tables. So if we take a look, this question gives us it actually automatically. So customer ID is going to be found in both tables. So we're just going to put customer ID dot customer ID. And then it has that ending or statement right there. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, we got it correct. 
Let's move on to the next one. Again, using the notes, they put the select, the from, and then the on. So what we're missing here, right, is the most important part is the join. So again, let's figure out what type of join it is. Select all records from the two tables where there is a match in both tables. Going back to our notes, an inner join deal with matching records from both tables. So this lets me know we're writing an inner join statement. So you want to put inner join. And then again, looking at our notes, the join will always deal with the right table name. So again, if we look at this, we can actually infer from the on orders is our first table and customers is our second table. So customers is our right table. So you want to put customers. Let's go ahead and check our answer. Perfect. So I hope that these practice exercises were very helpful. Again, just break down the question, see what they're asking for, and really just use this formula, and I think you'll be all set for writing out joins. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.